Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll talk inspections and critical findings. More after the break. Findings relate to the endangering or violation of the rights, safety or well-being of the trial subjects and the quality and integrity of data. In the meantime, there is a binding standard for the classification of findings according to a severity code, which distinguishes between critical, major, and minor findings and comments. The worst finding within the scope of an inspection is a so-called critical finding. A critical finding is defined as conditions, practices, or processes that adversely affect the rights, safety, or well-being of the subjects and slash or the quality and integrity of data. Critical observations are considered totally unacceptable. Rejection of data and slash or legal action are possible consequences. Observations classified as critical may include a pattern of deviations, classified as major, poor quality of data, and slash or absence of source documents. Fraud also belongs to this group. Consequently, if the safety of the subjects or the quality of data is not ensured, this is automatically a critical finding. We would now like to give you some examples of findings, but it has to be mentioned that there is no warranty for our examples. The assessment of a finding depends very much on the general impression of the inspector about the trial site. This means that an inspector or auditor tends more to assess individual findings as critical if many more findings have already been made at a trial site. In addition, of course the assessments of trial sites are conducted by people. People make decisions in different ways. The decisions are partially very subjective and depend on the inspector's or auditor's mood on the day and on their particular specialities. Nevertheless, findings should be taken seriously, should be corrected and preventive actions should be initiated in order to avoid the identified deficiencies from reoccurring in the future. Some examples of critical findings are the subject did not sign the informed consent form at all or too late, whereby the subject's rights are not protected. Investigations do not comply with the study protocol and the written information to be provided to subjects. Inclusion and exclusion criteria have not been considered. A subject has received a wrong dose of medication or a subject who has not been enrolled in the study has received the study medication. These deficiencies would be classified as critical findings because the deficiencies have already affected the quality of study data or the safety of subjects. Some more examples of critical findings are the following. The study has not been approved by the EC or the higher federal authority prior to the start of the study. Changes have not been approved by the EC and higher federal authority prior to implementation because the rights of subjects would be affected in a negative way. The insurance of the subject has expired or the study medication has not been stored appropriately. For example, if no temperature log has been kept or if other subjects have access. Different sponsors deal with critical findings in different ways. In the majority of cases, you as an investigator will be excluded from subject enrollment until the existing findings are clarified. Multiple critical findings may also entail the exclusion of your site from the study. In drastic cases, the sponsor may even deny you further cooperation in the scope of any other study. So much about critical findings. We will look into more details in inspections in future videos, so stay tuned. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.